The excitement is building. A live picture right now of the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. It is on the launch pad at the Kennedy Space Center. These live pictures coming in right now from Florida. We know the two astronauts are strapped in their seats. The hatch is closed, and in just about 90 minutes from now, weather permitting, you can see it's a little bit cloudy there in Florida, we will witness this historic liftoff. And that is our top story on KCAL 9 News at noon and streaming on CBS in LA. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Sandra Mitchell. It really is a big day for SpaceX and NASA. The first time the Hawthorne based company will send astronauts into space. KCAL 9 Skylar Henry is in Florida, and he has all the ways this launch is going to make history. SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket stands on launch pad 39A in the countdown to liftoff. This is a unique opportunity to bring all of America together in one moment in time and say, look at how bright the future is. If the weather cooperates, today will mark the first time NASA astronauts launch from U.S. soil in nearly a decade. Astronauts Doug Hurley and Bob Bankin will man the Crew Dragon spaceship, accelerating to 17,000 miles per hour on a rendezvous with the International Space Station. 24 hours after liftoff, they'll be greeted by colleague Chris Cassidy on the ISS. SpaceX is the first private company to send American astronauts into orbit, and CEO Elon Musk feels the weight of that responsibility. Uh, it weighs very heavily. Um, that's really all I can think about right now. I really kind of have to kind of mentally block it because otherwise the, the, it would be emotionally impossible to deal with. NASA says this flight will open the door to America's return to the moon and beyond. All of this ultimately is for a purpose and that is to get to Mars. Hurley flew the final shuttle mission in 2011 and has spent years training on the new technology. They called it a flying iPhone in terms of just the technology <laughs> that's going up there. We've seen the Tesla cars. Is it a big old iPad in there that's working out in there? How's it all working? It is kind of like a Tesla car in the sense that, that most of the controls for the crew inside the, inside the, the cockpit are all touchscreens. We do have a few hardware buttons and switches for very, very critical things, but almost everything is controlled by, by touch and screen. That's even how you fly it. For nearly a decade, American astronauts have had to hitch rides on Russian rockets. Now that a private company is handling transportation, NASA says it can focus on the science of space exploration. Skyler Henry at the Kennedy Space Center. And again, the astronauts already on board. They are communicating with the crew on Earth. Liftoff scheduled for about 1.30 this afternoon. And you can watch it right here on KCAL 9. We'll be streaming it live as well on CBSN Los Angeles.